Hello YouTube, it's Icefire for me. Today I'm making a video because one of my viewers requested it. I think Alex Parker did, maybe? Anyway, he wanted me to talk about what DSiWare downloads, 3DS downloads, apps, games, um, that I have on my 3DS. So that's what I'm going to do right now. Um, you can obviously see that I've been playing Super Mario 3D Land lately. Uh, I got addicted to that game again. I'm going to do like a special tribute to it on my channel uh, on my birthday. That's coming up real soon. So you can look forward to that. But let's get to the apps and games. Let's see. Mario Clock. Uh, if you guys have been subscribed to me for a while, I've done a review of this on my channel. But many people can overlook this because it's just like, what? It's a clock? A Mario Clock? You're really paying for this? But I did because the 3DS does not have an alarm clock and I needed it to uh, wake up in the morning and it's actually been really useful and it's a fun way to wake up in the morning. It has a nice 8-bit Mario style with sound effects and you can wake up to tunes from the original Super Mario Bros. It's really awesome. And if you're interested in this type of alarm clock type of thing, you should definitely check out the download and of course, look at my review. Okay. Next, Pushmo. Pushmo is absolutely awesome. I still think it's the best puzzler I've ever played, period. Uh, has a very inventive, inventive concept of uh, platforming and puzzles, and it makes a great use of the 3D effect. Uh, I also have a review of this on my channel. Um, those. I also have Colors 3D. Uh, I also really like drawing, but... I wanted like a portable and a simple way for me to just get out um, my drawing ideas and just to carefree. I like to do abstract art and the amount of detail you can do with the tools in this app is really amazing. You can really zoom in and do a whole bunch of cool effects and you can make all of your ideas pop in 3D and view other people's artworks too and upload yours. This is a fantastic app and if you're an artist but don't want to invest too much into like a digital art studio thing like there's also another one for the 3DS but it's like a full price of a game. This is only like what seven dollars? Uh, definitely check this out. Art Style Aquia. I got this uh, because it was like a free download basically from Club Nintendo if you had a certain amount of coins and I did. This was a game that I've been wanting on, on my wish list for a while and so I went and downloaded it. Um, honestly I haven't had too much fun with it. I still don't really know how to play. The instructions for how to play the game are kind of confusing but uh, so yeah I haven't played too much with this one and I'm honestly not that into it. But maybe once I actually read the instructions, I'll uh, enjoy it more. But Crashmo, Crashmo is the sequel to Pushmo, and I really like this one too. Um, it's a sequel to Pushmo, but it has a different concept. The blocks they fall down um, when they aren't being supported by anything, and that totally changes the dynamics of the game. And overall, it makes for a much harder experience. One thing that I did have a problem with in this game was that since it is about blocks falling down, if too many blocks fall down, there's no way to solve the puzzle. And oftentimes, there is only one way to get to solving a puzzle. So that, that often means resetting the puzzle and rewinding over and over again. And that, it can be kind of like annoying and repetitive and not that enjoyable. But still, I think this is a challenging and fun puzzler, and if you're interested, uh, go get it. Mario Picross was another awesome puzzler that I played last year. It might not seem that enjoyable of a game since it was released on the Game Boy, but uh, I got this for free via Club Nintendo, again, and it's an awesome game. I didn't think that the concept of trying to reveal spaces and where spaces weren't to form a picture would be so addicting, but it feels really fulfilling to find out that the progress that you made in one area of the puzzle leads to the clues that allow you to solve a different part of the picture. And so it's 
really, really satisfying and fulfilling experience, and it can be a pretty tough one, too. There's a lot of content in this game as well, so it has great bang for your buck. It's challenging, it's fun and addictive, and really satisfying to play. So if you're interested interested in this, definitely play it. Or a or Climber. If you're interested in this game, definitely go get it now from Club Nintendo. It is available for free um, in exchange for Club Nintendo coins. Um, my only problem with this game was that it was really short. The concept in this game is great and addictive. You get to control this adorable little sun star guy as he climbs up pegs and has all these different powers and you collect gems and stuff. It's really fun. You can check out my review on my channel. It's a great game. Yoshi's Island. This was, I think, my favorite platformer last year that I played. I got this as one of the 20 games I got for free from Nintendo because I was a Nintendo 3DS ambassador. I'm not sure if this is available up on the eShop. Um, they've been kind of slowly giving out some of the games that have been given already to ambassadors to the public. Yeah, this game is really awesome. It is also really tough too. It does have that old style difficulty and Baby Mario, he can be pretty annoying, but Yoshi with his superpowers, the great art style, excellent variety in the level design. Uh, it's just great. If this ever gets the chance to be on the Nintendo eShop, you have to download it. It is so good. Legend of Zelda is also one of the games I got for free. Um, I've only played a little in the beginning, so I don't have anything to say about this game. But the art style is pretty cool. Super Mario Bros. I have played through the whole game of this. The ability to actually save your file allowed me to finish this game. It is really tough, but it is so fun. And I definitely understand why people like it so much. And why it's one of the best-selling games of all time. Mario and Donkey Kong. I'm, I'll say I'm like three quarters of the way through this game. I think it's a really interesting uh, puzzle concept of having Mario traverse through different platforms and stuff to make it to uh, the toy Marios and to unlock the doors and stuff with the key and stuff. So I think this is a really fun game. If you're... Oh wait, this is also a Game Boy game too. Sorry. Game Boy Advance game. So if it does ever come to the eShop uh, and you're interested, get it. Uh, just basic stuff. Yoshi. This was a nice little distraction. It didn't really last me that long, but it's a fun game. Also Virtual Console. I haven't played this game yet, but it's probably good. I haven't played this game either. I've played through this game. I honestly didn't enjoy it too much. The idea of having to find new areas and find broken pieces of the mirror I thought was a really tiring and repetitive experience, so I didn't enjoy this Kirby game too much. Um, I haven't played this game either, <laughs> sorry, or this one. All these games I got for free because of being an ambassador. Uh, haven't played that game either. Uh, not that game. Um, a little bit of this game. I wasn't really too interested in playing it because I didn't, I couldn't play it with any other people, so. Mm. But I think it's available on the eShop now. Maybe. I played a little bit of this game. This game's pretty fun. Um, yeah, I enjoyed it. It was a nice distraction. I played this game for a little bit. Again, a nice distraction. I played some of this game. It's not a straightforward game where you have to find your way into advancing through the game. But, you know, it's it's a pretty cool game. And this uh, Virtual Console Classic was so really fun, too. Um, I didn't advance through it, maybe because I, I didn't know how to save the game at the time, but now that I do, I'll probably be able to play through this and finish it. Uh, Excite Bike. This is an okay download. Um, again, a nice distraction. Nothing too exciting about it. I got it for free, so. And Balloon Fight. This one's actually pretty nice. You float with a balloon and you move around and I think you try to pop others and stuff. I haven't played this one in a while. And these are just demos. Mario Kart Super Circuit. Um, if you guys already know, I'm a huge Mario Kart fan, so of course I checked this out. 
I did enjoy it, but it did take me a long time to get used to the graphics. They aren't in 3D because the Game Boy Advance wasn't able to render graphics like that, and so um, the game actually gave me a headache sometimes of just trying to focus on where to turn and stuff. The graphics just really bothered me, but I think I'm kind of getting used to it. The tracks in the game are well designed, of course, so... An art style Pictobits, I did a review of this on my channel, is an awesome, awesome game. Um, just get it right now if you haven't gotten it already. Great puzzler, nice old 8-bit uh, style, pays tribute to a lot of the great NES games like Ice Climbers, The Legend of Zelda, and of course Super Mario Bros. So absolutely get this game. Um, let me know if you played any of these games below. And thanks for watching. I'll have uh, a ton of other videos coming up really soon. Uh, I've just been lazy about recording them. And until my next video, see ya!